down a lot a lo- so i was listen i was li- reading the the geeta man and uh, we spoken about this but it's a beautiful book amazing yeah. book yeah. but one thing which it kind of talks about and this has been going on for thousands of years is the mm-hmm. class system yeah. right yeah. so um, the problem with the class system is it for a while it did give us a lot of growth yeah it allowed us to progress as a society for a while but there was a point in time where because it's not a stable system you can't mm-hmm. get away with oppressing people's rights over a long period of time for hundreds of years it's not going to fucking work so what happened what i think happened is that that the instability of that system mm-hmm. started to rear its head right now we had kings and things like that holding us in line but by the time the british came that system was already breaking down it like it was it did we did not adapt ourselves to changing times now also yeah. what happened was that if you speaking of caste system man it's it's a two edged sword now the entire conflict if we look at our history is between the non violent form of existence yeah and the aggressive form of existence i remember you speaking about gun laws and yeah. states Yeah. Uh, when we spoke last i'm saying okay i'm not going to complicate it i'm going to try and simplify it and this is my theory i'm say, i'm telling you man uh even today and it's just speaking of the middle class which is the lower and the middle and the upper which comprises of the majority a, a lot of them don't vote a lot of them do pay taxes but they have a very passive approach towards human existence in the sense that what is the ulti- ultimate goal of a of a middle class parent in this country which i am quoting tarik fatah here very good observation graduation kar lo mba kar lo naukri mil jayegi get a very fair and lovely wife the bride should be your boy must be near half balding or you know fat as work and i don't know what is the entire definition of good looking your skin color but your bride should be younger than him she should be with uh, at the prime of her youth then she should be a virgin then she should be fair skinned also and then life yeah. is good and then you, all you do, do is just you know shit uh, you know shit pee eat <laughs> and fuck and give birth to more babies and more uh, versions of just your pathetic cells and then die so Did that's you- a st- that's stable man people do that for a reason bro it's been happening anyway sorry finish your point yeah. Now, what I'm trying to say is that amidst all of this, if uh, the middle class has never really taken over the mantle, it's only the lower class which has come into pol- uh, you know active politics or or decision making uh, uh, play positions or the upper class which has always been there. Okay, but the middle class has very conveniently turned its back to its responsibilities. and contribution to the society and to the nation 